Hello everybody and welcome to your Mansfield's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. This reading is a general reading so it may not resonate with you so please do take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If ever you do have any questions though and you would like to have your own, maybe you'd like to have your own private reading, please do contact me at romancefulltarot at gmail.com. It will be my great pleasure to send you the different type of readings that I can offer you. Also, if you look right below into the description box, you will find how to contact me and how to book a reading. Um, also, if you do not, uh, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel and you do enjoy the channel and you do enjoy the messages, please do support the channel by clicking subscribe to show your support to myself and to the channel and it would be greatly appreciated. So with no further ado, I would like to begin this reading, but beforehand, I would like to mention that if you're here, you're here for a reason. There's no such things as coincidences. Everything happens for a reason. You read the title, you came, and these messages are for you. So these messages are for the sign of Capricorn. They are channeled messages from your guardian angels for you. Very important for the continuity of on your journey. So please do stand by. I'm going to begin with a reading for your messages from your guardian angel. I'm going to begin with the three tarot cards and I'm going to continue with the oracle cards on the top. So let's turn these over. I have the four of cups, I have the five of swords, and I also have the three of wands. So with no further ado, my dear friends Capricorn, this is your message from your um, guardian angel. So I'm going to put the four of cups right up here because your angels wanted that one first. Now, this is all about reminding us that there is an entire world outside of our head, okay? Outside of your head. There's such a big world there. Sometimes life is hard, and sometimes you are simply stuck into the mindset of believing that life is hard. Gifts and opportunities for self-improvement come our way every day. Now, this card comes to us when you are stubbornly ignoring these blessings and you're choosing only to sulk into your own misery. It's time to drop your self-centered attitude and open your heart to new opportunities. Your guardian angels want you to stop feeling sorry for yourself and allow yourself to move on forward. It's time to wake up. The universe is not against you. Stubbornly refusing to join in on life is not going to stop it from passing you by. Right now, you are the only thing holding you back from having and living the life that you want. Okay? That is such an important message. Moving over to the following message. Please do remember this one. You are the only element that is stopping you from having what you want out of life. Moving over to the Five of Swords. This is all about self-interest. It's about greed. It's about selfishness. It's about deception. And you know what? It reminds you to think of others and see how your actions may be affecting them. Now, you need to have a discussion. Or, you know, this could bring to a discussion our human desires to think only of ourselves rather than those who are all close of us the group or society as a whole. You need to consider the bigger picture and you need to acknowledge the damages that are caused by selfishness and deception around you. Sneakiness and lies will only fuel the fire. Honesty and open communication will help you move past this hostile environment. And following with the final card of the tarot here that I do have, is the Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Wands is all about encouraging you to explore the unknown. Your guardian angels want you to take a chance on something, on something new and something exciting. There's so much world out there for you to see and to learn about. And you know what? You can do so much more than what you have ever dreamt of if you just put your mind to it and you just take that chance. You need to take a chance on an unknown adventure. There is always an air of mystery around a new exploration, but it is nothing to fear. So take charge and lead yourself and your team to glory. 
go for it do something new get out of the me 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 over here get out of the the, the self-pity just move on try something new bring that happiness back in try a new adventure your angels want you to remain positive at all times okay so at all times as much as possible um you know whenever you're feeling low whenever you're feeling like everybody's against you nobody they're not against you this is just circumstantial and sometimes we just think that they're against us but they're not really against us be very careful about that try to remain positive try to uh, to um try to analyze the situations to make sure before coming to a conclusion moving i have victimhood so victimhood this is all about the guardian angels want you to say they're there dry your tears there's no need to be sad in fact no need to be down in the dumps at all because over here we're talking about you being into the dumps for as your guardian angel is there and they have their eyes and they're going to be wide open unto what an amazing life you could and you do actually have now they realize that there's a few situations that eh, have not all turned out the way that you would, have, you would have liked. But for too long now, your guardian angels have watched you cry a river. Sweet one, do not realize that you are dwelling on what has been. You need to stand up, you need to shake off, and you need to reinvent your life. No more, poor me. What you expect in life will indeed show up. Unfortunately, you are in a place of expecting the worst and you are now playing the role very, very well, may I add, of the victim. You presume now that nothing will work out the way that you hoped for. You expect others to take a dim view of you, are highly sensitive to what you deem as being victimized. Now, your guardian angels could certainly continue because all of these tears are for nothing but getting your attention and your pity. And it does work. However, do you really want to spend your life in a state of feeling wretched, isolated, and feeling sorry for yourself? Your guardian angel couldn't even suggest that deep down you enjoy the attention. Sorry, but it is time for tough love. You need to pick yourself up. You need to take your responsibility for your actions. Make steps to break out of the victim's mentality and look at the lessons that could be learned. Work on eliminating feelings of frustration to the expectation that someone is obliged to satisfy you. You are going to find by doing so that the victimized paranoid feelings that inevitably always arise will soon simply dissolve. An ultimate freedom will beckon as you fuel your wary mind with the positive expectations and peace that it craves. This is about getting out of victimhood. When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. And finally, to conclude this reading, when I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. So this, my dear friends, Capricorn, is the ending of your reading of your messages from your guardian angel. I do hope that you um, are going to apply it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do have any questions, you'd like a reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for any following readings and have yourself a blessed day. Thank you so very much for being there and I'll see you tomorrow.